Hey guys, I am DM Zone. This is Gamers Oasis. We're going to do vlog number 15. Okay guys, so in this particular one, um, we were flying Carbox. Carbox are an interesting creature because they do things a little different. They're a little hard to find. Uh, as you see here, I got me a skill boost, which was very nice, and this is actual run. Um, they have some high loot drops, but they're rare, and you have to go really spread out to find them. So one of the things they have, and I get one of these later on this uh, mission, or run, or whatever you want to call it, test. I don't know what you would want to call these things. The, it's not necessarily a vlog when I do it, but I do four 15 ped hunts and then i post the cards up as we go so you can see more action than um you know the time it would take to actually show four 15 ped hunts and that's because i'm using a a weapon called the bukin as if you've been following my videos you know this already adjusted bukin anyways um so they have uh a type of fat that is used by uh body shapers and that type of stuff to try and change someone's appearance also the carbock hide is really good with tailors um, i want to say um, the hide is like a 700 percent uh markup which is pretty outstanding um, it's typical hide amounts though so you gotta get a lot of it for it to really be valuable but when you get it it is valuable because it's very rare um, this is a place i want to take the grinder to really see what I can grind out of it. I feel like I might get better drops with that here. And I feel like the drops you get would be more worth it. So in the future, look for that particularly. Um, the, the fat on the other hand has a good base cost. So when you find it, it's got some value. I want to say it was like 50 peck. Um, and then it had a decent markup too, being like in the 300s. I want to say we'll have to look at the video as it goes. Um, but that's kind of like, what I'm trying to do is to find low level creatures with good markup items um, that I can do and potentially get and still play the game I can play and skill up the way I can skill up and that type of stuff. Um, this was kind of like that holy grail creature. The only thing I wish it was was a little easier to find. I, I don't like the fact that you have to go literally so far run around there's a lot of people out there uh there's not a terrible amount of these creatures um and you're base and you can't see them i mean look at them they're a green creature in a green forest with some white trees and that type of stuff but basically it's green on green on green on green so you basically are hitting you know your f button to continuously find it and when you do then you actually target someone else's creature and it's like oh i didn't mean to do that i apologize let me loop my creature now that you were shooting um and that type of stuff or you shoot a creature and they get to loot it and you lose you know money uh, because you don't gain the loot so or maybe you get shrapnel i don't know if you do get shrapnel versus actually getting the stuff then you're defeating the purpose of why you're there because shrapnel you can get off of anything and in many ways without even using a gun you can get shrapnel so i get plenty of shrapnel when i do my swans my swanton craft now you might have seen uh, a couple of my swanton crafts my swanton crafts are a little out of proportion to my um uh videos i'm doing right now that are a little higher skill that's because that is a new thing and the videos i shot for like the car box was done a little bit ago um and i'm trying to i'm eventually these are going to match up and be on time so if you're watching this and you're trying to follow it from first all the way through the progression watch the vlogs as they come out and then go ahead and watch the swan and craft laters uh because that's where i end up a few months actually several months in some cases uh beyond this because if you realize i'm taking four hunts that were each 15 pet hunts that's pretty hard to do and maintain and do all these other things <clears throat> so i'm still trying to pump out um one uh of these videos where I do four 15 ped hunts a month um, and then still do my 10 ped uh, swan and craft and then do my um, if I could do a 30 ped uh, uh, craft in mine you know it's a little switch of words and that's going to be coming out more and that's gonna be my my vlog uh, minecraft not, not minecraft excuse me 
that's not what I'm trying to do. The mine vlog one, it's going to be called a uh, craft and mine to try and take it away from people that aren't wanting to watch and trip a universe. But I'm doing essentially uh, a new series ish based off of that. Um, and the, and the stuff I find in normal mining runs, which is Listerium and oil uh, is used to make, uh, basic filters and basic filters while they're not necessarily the best thing in the world again it's one of these in between components that people probably do need and this will get me towards stuff that other it will take me on the path but I can make that while I'm mining so the same thing I'm doing with the Swanson craft I'm going to be doing with the craft and mine and uh, there'll be great little acronyms that can put out there short little concise stuff um, and uh, that probably will end up replacing the uh, the vlog, the mining vlog, and the or just take over. It'd be mining vlog, you know, this in Swanton Craft. It'll be like you know, or uh, you know, you get the general idea. So that's going to be kind of a thing I'm doing. Um, I like the direction the channel is going with this. I have a tremendous amount of stuff I'm doing with pets. I'm trying to ask questions of myself and then answer these questions down below. And some of these questions are, they're expensive and I don't like them. Uh, I don't like asking them. I don't like trying to figure them out. And there's virtually no information out there for anyone trying to do this. And I don't know if this is something I should do. Um, I was given a, a sizable gift by a viewer. Um, they didn't, say they would necessarily want me to say their name so i'm not um but essentially they gave me a um, um a deed for uh, arcadia underground which is 106 ped which is a lot um i've made 106 ped probably in the life of my character but i do not have 106 ped laying in my bank account and they want me to make some videos about it and then sell it and i had another viewer Give me a bunch of stuff for uh, pets and wanted me to get more into the auction hall stuff. Uh, so I'm doing all of this, hopefully, and it'll be exactly the type of videos that I would, I, I hope they enjoy. Um, I'm going to be showing how to be making like the, um, uh, I'll be showing how to make the, the sweet stuff into the bars, the nutrient bars. I'll be showing how the the pets level. I'll show you what they get sort of at different levels. I have a rover that I'm currently leveling up. Um, I'm going to show uh, how tricks are more or less efficient. Um, and then I'm going to show the better way to do it if you have time, the most efficient way. I'm going to talk about, you know, there's some edge cases that aren't explored yet um and this is a whole a whole different thing this is like a if you know the first thing i did on pets was like a level 100 just intro this is what a pet is this is the intro the primer for pets right then the, the next video i'm making is going to be like a, a 200 level class if you look at college stuff it's going to be a little bit more it's going to show some tests it's going to talk a little bit more in depth it's going to show some progression that type of stuff it's going to show you some of the interesting stuff you're going to run into along the way that like uh your if you only level one pet and your pet has bonus xp which i haven't even got to yet or doesn't have bonus xp you can actually level your pet faster then you can use the abilities because uh, the pet will level faster than your skill will, and then you don't have the ability to um, use all of the abilities your pet has because you're too low level. Now, the pet I have, the rover at level 10, um, has the ability to um, get bonus XP for my pet skills, my pet handling and animal taming and that type of stuff, I believe. My animal taming stuff is actually higher than I would expect because of my ability to use weapons and all the secondary and tertiary skills that you need for this, like evade and, you know, that type of stuff, combat reflexes. So when I actually start using the whip, it's going to right on up. It's going to be nice. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, 
going to have to get more into melee stuff because that's going to help with the pet taming stuff, oddly enough. It also helps with my strength. It helps with my mining. So a lot of synergy going on here. Um, so the question might come up, why pets? Why focus on something that has a money sink, a ped sink that is so great? Why focus on mining if the, if the mining has such a ped sink that is so strong, right? So big, so much. It comes down to this. Um, I'm trying to work towards doing multiple things at the same time. I can level a pet and hunt. I can level a pet and craft. I can level a pet and mine. I can mine and fruit walk at the same time. I can mine and kind of hunt, but not really. Um, but when I do melee, um, I get my strength up, which helps my mining. Mining is where there's a good probability of going beyond uh, what players generally do. It puts you in a, the finite few. So there are those who want to go mining and they, they say, I'm going to, I've got the willpower to go all the way. And what they really mean is I've got the willpower to go 500 ped into this, which is like 50 bucks <clears throat> or, you know, or less. And then they get 500 ped in there and they're up to their F104, F105 or whatever it is. And they peter out because they can't continue to go for the stuff that's deeper and for the better stuff. And the stuff that's what makes some of that stuff so rare is the fact that people don't continue. So I'm not saying I'm going to spend 500 ped and peter out. I hope not, or, you know, stall or whatever. My thought is I'm going to go literally as far into this as I can get to that F106 or whatever I might have or whatever the 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 thing is uh, that I learn along the way, the, the one I want to go to. And then that'll be maybe where I make my money. It's a lot more of a gamble. Uh, the hunting with the pets, I feel like, is almost as good as uh, uh, like having your Milo engineer run. I can do low-level... Uh, hunting and be profitable. I don't believe middle or intermediately high is going to be profitable. I think the extreme high is going to be profitable. But I don't think your 500 ped of ammo from being in the middle of that pack. If I were to spend 500 ped of ammo or, you know, whatever, into mining... <clears throat> I might be an F-105, which will then get me into that top tier rank of few that are dudes in the F-105. But I'm pretty sure if I got into the 500 pet into that, I'd be at like a Matrix 20. And Matrix 20 is pretty low end um, what people use. I mean, you run into people that have been playing a year and they have a Matrix 20. You know, you start getting to the Matrix 50s and beyond. Now you're getting the stuff that's a lot more rare. So you're hunting everything else that everyone else is hunting. With the F-105, you're starting to venture into areas where people don't go. That's the reason why I'm doing this. And I can do both of these paths at the same time while leveling pets. So, I'm doing the pet stuff for the video. I'm doing the pet stuff to level it up. Um... I don't know what kind of market we're going to be looking at for pet selling because I definitely want to be making money at the end of this or leveling pets up to sell. But I can tell you that the common everyday like pet store probably is not it. This game doesn't have that. So this game needs to be for people that are in the are within the inn, if that makes sense. So I'm going to have to find the super hard to get pets, the super rare pets, the rare spawn pets find those pets and then those are the pets I'm going to probably level to sell my thought just speaking out loud here my thoughts this is what this video is really for is that I'm going to be doing uh, pets that require to be level 7 to get off planet uh, that in itself gives you enough scarcity um, because of how many pet you probably drop into getting it to uh, level 7 and the time uh, to make it worth it. Now, I do not know what Arcadia pets are like that. So this might be a while because I plan to spend the next forever at Arcadia. But I know that there's at least one over on uh, Next Island. 
and I'm sure that there are others. But that's kind of what I'm going to be looking at doing, um, or the pets that people really want, but they don't want to level up to get the special ability. Um, I'll probably be leveling pets to that point and then stopping. Um, and that's basically what I'm, my, my thoughts are at this point in time of a way I could level pets and make money. The cute pets that are super rare, the uh, pets that actually have uh, functional value, uh, the pets that are difficult because you have to get them to a certain level to even get them off planet. Those are kind of the uh, pets I'm looking at raising up. Um, and I and want to understand why and how all of this works. And the way I'm going to do that, frankly, is with these tests. So I'm kind of doing more things at once, you know, synergy again. I'm doing the test to find out, mm, I don't want to do that anymore, or let's find out how valuable that really is, and then let's take this way, which might be the longest way in the world to do it, but at least it's cheap, and I can do other things. So this is going to be where I do some of my Wear in the Entropia series. Now, if you've seen a couple of the Wear in the Entropia series, there's going to be a lot more of these coming. But the Wear in Entropia series is just a way for me to describe the Entropy Universe world and to get people into it and to do that type of stuff. Um, if you are, if you've never been to the Arcadia Moon and you want to check it out, then, you know, you need to go to uh, check out where the Entropy is, Gamma, Neutron, Alpha, you know, all those type of things. And eventually I'll get to the planet and eventually maybe I'll go to Monria, maybe I'll go to uh, uh, Cyrene, maybe I'll go to Next Island, and then eventually I'll get to uh, Calypso. And there's several reasons why I'm waiting for Calypso to be last. Um, one, I'll be probably be better at it. It's the more popular place, so people will be more interested in looking at it. And I'll have a huge list of other places for people to go check out. So, anyways, um, yes, lots of things doing all at the same time. Um, if you want to give me some thoughts on uh, which direction you think I should go first or next or that type of stuff, or if you have some thoughts on uh, or places or facts about some places that would be interesting for me, uh, sometimes they put Easter eggs in the game and you don't know it unless you know it. Um, those type of things would be awesome to know. So thank you for watching. hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this, Go ahead and hit the like button. It helps with the algorithm to get the game to get the video out there. Uh, let other people in the game know that I'm doing these type of videos. And I hope to see you guys around. Thank you. Keep earning that pet. Bye.